How is it going today? Laura, let's Wayne. My name is Jasmine. We're doing jazz. So we have Young Don the Sauce God losing my temper with my sister. Mm. Oh man, you 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 the one with, with, with. I have a brother that is only have one brother and he's a year older than me. So having a sibling that is near your age, even a year, it's very annoying. We're gonna talk annoying. about that annoyance at the end. If you guys haven't heard your guys, please follow us on our social media and the links below. We're gonna just stop. Is that wrong? <laughs> what? <laughs> So now I'm just feeling I pure anger oh. because I'm like, yo, you had me waiting there. I, I was worried about you. Why didn't you pick up your phone? She's like, I ain't have service. I'm like, so you couldn't, you didn't see? Where did you think I was? I don't, I don't know anyone here. I have nothing here. Uh-oh. <laughs> As a guy, you were one of either two kinds of boys growing up. Either you were the kind of boy that punched holes in walls or you were like, I don't know, a dude that grew up to be like a functioning member of society or some bullshit. Like I don't know. Listen, right. If you've watched my channel for any period of time, Styles you would know. Mm -hmm. I definitely do not fall into the second category. Now, I definitely had anger issues as a kid. Oh, Cynthia! So I, I know I acted out in several ways, but <laughs> I can remember three holes specifically that I punched. You know, the other kind of hole, who knows how big. <laughs> Ah, uh, the first hole. The first. So, I have a little sister. She's two and a half years younger than me, and she's a very sweet girl. Mm -hmm. But, trash at video games, bro. I mean, <laughs> she's good at, like, girly games, you know? Like, Sim. The Sims, mm -hmm. Fortnite. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding about. I'm kidding about the Fortnite thing. This one time, my dad bought me Super Mario Bros. for the Wii, right? And there are only mm. two things you need to know about this game. One, it's Mario, mm -hmm. so, like, that. And then two, it had a two-player mode where uh -oh. you could tackle the story mode with Together. two different mm -hmm. people playing at the same time. And it had this feature where if one character dies, the other you one can bring them. him back to life by popping their bubble. Yeah. When you die, you get put in a bubble. And then if both of you die, then you're fucked. So mm -hmm. being the loving big brother that I am and also having a crippling inability to handle losing. I invited my sister <laughs> to play the game with me to help me get through the story mode. So mm -hmm. we're playing the game, right? And we're, we're playing a very hard level. I can remember that. And we must have lost several times because my, my blood is starting to boil, right? So we're running through the level and then I die, right? So I'm oh, in no. the bubble. And my sister had like the big Luigi, you know? Like she had eaten oh. money, so she's running around. So I'm like, hey, yo, <laughs> no pressure, no rush, but when but you get a get chance, me. Yo, let a nigga out of this bubble, right? <laughs> I knew she wasn't gonna last long. And of course, she gets hurt, right? Aww. So now she's a little Luigi, right? So now I'm like, yo, all right, get me out of this bubble. We about to lose, yo. And my poor baby sister. Aww. She was like 10 or 11 at the time, right? With the weight of the world on oh, her. Oh, no. And then it happened. She died. She died. Bro. She dies, she gets in the bubble, and then she doesn't even look at me. Because she knows mm, she can't. Mm -mm. She can't, she shouldn't. She, it would be bad. I was, like, angry, bro. And my sister is not, like, having a good time. You know, like, <laughs> she's doing this just to spend time with me. Like, she didn't even like Mario, nigga. But she took it, she took it so seriously because it was, it, it, it was important to me oh that we beat this fucking game. I get up. <laughs> And I, I'm shaking. Oh my and then god. I just punched the fucking door. Now, <laughs> the door was made of wood and it was also hollow. So, like, oh. my hand just went straight through that shit, you know? So, I punched through the door, instant regret. Because you my right. mother is still Jamaican, nigga. Like, she's yes. definitely gonna come home and murder me <laughs> and break my weed. So, I'm like, <laughs> fuck, right? My sister looks at me and is like, <clears throat> Nigga, you go die. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there, still mad that we lost, by the way, but also scared because death is approaching. Right. And then what I think I did is I found like a picture or a poster, and then I just like taped it up on my door. You feel me? Because I didn't punch all the way through the door, and I think that worked for like a while. Until. I don't remember getting in trouble that day. My sister has a YouTube channel, by the way, where she tells <laughs> this story. That's what inspired this video. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can check it out if you want. Uh, the second hole was also because of my sister. This was a lot later, though. I was like 22. Uh, YouTube had just taken off. So okay. I was moving out of my friend's house cool. in San Diego. And I was going to get my own place in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. And in that in-between period, I stayed in New York with my dad 
which is where my sister lives. So I'm in New York, crashing it on the couch, you know, because it was super last minute. And right before I left San Diego, I had gotten in the relationship with that girl, you know, the girl <laughs> from the friend I betrayed story. Yeah, that girl. The friend I betrayed. Super rushed, got in a relationship with her. After like a month of dating, bro, I get to New York, you know, and now that I had some distance from her, you know, because when you're in it, when you're in it, you know, it's all like, you know, sunshine and roses and flowers and fucking, I love that you know, good room. feelings. I but too. once I was able to like get away from her oh, physically, no. I could mm-hmm. look at the decision and I was like, this was not the best decision. Mm-hmm. Wasn't quite ready to break up. Mm-hmm. I was getting there. We were arguing a lot and I was just, I was just on edge. You feel me? Also sleeping on the couch and then hell. All this while trying to find a place to live in Austin, oh, Texas, no. which by the way, was a place I had never been before. So I was stressed, right? So one day, right, my sister was still in the middle of the winter school semester, and she needed me to take her down to the college so she could drop something off for her professor. So I dropped her off in front of the art department, but the way how the road was set up, it was like a one-way, and it was also oh. like a one-lane street. Yeah, to go so all the way around. I ended up blocking traffic. So what I would do is just drive around the campus mm-hmm. and then pull back up in front of the art department. Mm-hmm. I did this like five times it's a because circle. every time I came there, she wasn't outside and I kept blocking traffic. So I had to just keep <laughs> going around, coming back, sitting, Jesus. waiting, going around, coming back, sitting, waiting, and Good she's Lord. not coming out. So I'm like, yo, where is she? So it's been like 15 minutes since I've dropped her off. Mm-hmm. So I go and find a parking lot. I sit in the parking spot and I'm calling her because I'm starting to get a little worried. You know, she Mm -hmm. was just supposed to go in, drop some off, come back. So I'm calling, I'm calling, it's going straight to voice. So now I'm in big bro mode, okay? All right, I'm getting nervous. I don't like it. It's dark, winter time, seven o'clock in New York. I need to protect her, right? I need to find her and then I need to protect her. That's, Mm -hmm. That's just instincts right there. But my sister isn't soft, you feel me? And she had been living in New York for a while. So she had gotten that that Mm -hmm. New York grit, you know, that New Yorkers have. So part of me is worried, but then the other part of me is upset. Because there's a part of me that has this feeling (laughs) that my sister is fine and she left. She just left (laughs) some other way. It didn't make sense. So I was still mostly worried. Like 45 minutes of sitting at this campus waiting for this girl to come back. I was like, fuck it, I'm going home. I'll call my dad <laughs> to see if he's heard from her. He's not picking up. So I'm oh, like, I'm gonna go home and figure this out. I get back to my dad's house, and as I go inside, guess who I see just chilling at the dinner table? My sister. So Ooh, I'm like, what? yo, what's good? Yo. Where you been? She looks at me and is like, what you mean where I've been? I've been here, obviously. You hear, you hear that attitude? <laughs> this wasn't my cute little baby sister that I put no Super more. Mario Bros with anymore. You feel me? This was now a fully grown, young, black woman from New York. Have you ever <laughs> met a girl from New York? Bro, they're so mean. I don't know. They're just so mean. <laughs> I hear this attitude and all the, the worry You're that like, I had who are you talking over to? <laughs> turned into anger. So now I'm just feeling pure anger because I'm like, yo, you had me waiting there. I, I was worried about you. Why didn't you pick up your phone? She's like, I ain't have service. I'm like, so you couldn't, you didn't see? Where did you think I was? Right. I, don't, I don't know anyone here. I have nothing here. Right. I, only, yeah. I left the house because of you. I'm not your home. I'm not home. What you thought was happening? <laughs> She's like, my boyfriend picked me up. I don't see what the problem is. So then I was like, so- you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I go down into the basement, which is where I had my Mm-mm. computer set up. And then I was like, I'm going to just work. I'm going to just work, <laughs> right? And then I get a text from old girl back in California on some bullshit. I don't oh. remember what she said. So now my blood is at like <laughs> now 11. She and the then I hear my sister upstairs talking shit about me to like her girlfriend Uh, she's like yeah and then he came in and was all like mad and i'm like i don't know what the fuck is his problem so now (laughs) i'm shaking bro like i'm I'm like i'm gonna kill somebody i'm going to murder my sister tonight (laughs) and i was just like so angry so i just got up and then i just punched the fucking (laughs) i punched the wall i punched i punched another hole in the wall oh my god and uh instant regret because my dad's Your dad is and get you. i was like oh he's definitely gonna come home and murder me and back when my youtube channel just started taking <laughs> off i was doing these like poster giveaways and i had some so i just <laughs> we put it in the poster <laughs> i did the same thing i did when i was 15 <laughs> i took a poster 
Ah, uh, my dad probably doesn't even know this poster is still on that wall. I've been back since then. It's still there. Oh, oh my god. god. And I just put it over the hole. So, dad, if you're watching this right now, just don't take that poster down. You're dead now. The last hole was not because of my sister. No, this hole was caused by my ex, who had flown from California to Austin, Texas to visit me. Hmm. But that's a story for another. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Doesn't, say that. That's not a, like Am I talking that. to myself? I gotta get the stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, that last one. I don't. That last hole didn't sound too well. Man, it yeah, sounds like a good, be like a, a good hole or a fun hole. <laughs> yeah. But um, I would have been so mad too. Like, so you mean to tell me that the place that I dropped you off at, you mm. couldn't go back to it and be like, hey. I'm going to leave with my boyfriend. That would have been. That would have been so. That would have been so easy. Communication two, is key. Two. If your boyfriend picked you up and brought you home, what you think? Why not bring you to here? Like why you not? You could have got him to pick you up. Yes, he could have picked you up and dropped you off. Why did you have to get me? Like what? I would be so mad. I'd be so angry. I'd be cussing him out. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't have any siblings. Lucky you. But I wanted some. No, you don't. So all the attention was on. You don't know what it's like to have all the ten. Uh, a single. Single family home with the other only child in that piece. All the attention is on you. You do one bad thing, it's magnified times ten. And now when you have a sibling, it's divided you, by two. So it's five. No, 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 no. It's directed towards one of you, not the other one. It's like, oh, this wasn't done. Why wasn't it, Jasmine? I don't know. Ask the other one that's sitting right there, because I did what I was supposed to do. He didn't. So. Mm. We both get in trouble. So get so you at least if you get in trouble, you get in, some, in trouble for something you did. If I get in trouble, it's because of something the other person did, and I'm just there collectively. Like we just come in a care package. Both of us get messed up. <laughs> so yes, that's I still up. think my situation is worse than yours. But okay, we'll just okay. have to agree. We we'll have to agree or disagree. Right. We experience two different things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so. <laughs> comment below, guys. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like. Let's share. Do some more. Do some.